Hey there, Ophiuchus. Welcome to this 2021-2022 year-end review. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, yes? So, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as not everything is going to resonate for everyone. The intention with these videos is to for you to be able to watch them for any placement that you have okay so it doesn't just necessarily have to be your sun moon or rising sign it could be anything your mars your mercury Nep neptune pluto saturn whatever okay uh keep that in mind but of course obviously the top three sun moon and rising are going to most likely resonate the most or the strongest for you with your rising sign being at the to very top of that list but ultimately you the intention is set that you can watch this for any placement yeah and also, like I said earlier, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So we're going to be using two tarot decks to look at uh, your energies, right? So we're going to start with the year of 2021 and see what that has been like for you and bring you some messages in regards to that. And then we'll get into 2022 and see what could be coming down the line for you in 2022, what the year may look like for you. And then we're going to close out the reading with Oracle Guidance from the Earth Warriors Oracle. Yes? Excellent, Ophiuchus. So let's dive into this here. Five shuffles for the year of 2021. So what has 2021 been like for Ophiuchus? Five shuffles here. One. Two. For Ophiuchus, this is three. Ophiuchus. What was 2021 like for Ophiuchus? This is four. Okay. And this is five. For Ophiuchus. All right, cool guys. So what was 20 what was 2021 like for Ophiuchus? Page of Cups, a new dreamer energy, maybe even reconciliation. So this could have been a year in which you were reconciling in some ways, okay? You have the Page of Cups here. You also have the Nine of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles to the Magician. Um, big common theme, you know, it seems that the year of 2021 was a big basically a big course correction for a lot of people all right underneath the magician is the six of swords here i wanted to make sure i, I showed you that first but the big general the big general theme for the collective for the year of 2021 was some sort of course correction was getting us in alignment to with what it is we truly wanted and moving us forward over that year over the course of that year and then it feels like the, the year of 2022 um, some sort of alignment has been set into place or set into motion and we can move forward with what it is we truly wanted. For you, Ophiuchus, I feel like you went through a period over the course of this year where you were able to overcome some fears because you have the Page of Cups here, which is talking about a new emotional reality, okay? But I'm getting the dreamer energy from this. So allowing yourself... What I just heard is allowing yourself to face the fears of what held you back from your true desires or what you were really feeling. Some of you, uh, and you know what's really interesting, and then you have the Eight of Pentacles here. But also, you, you know what is really, what's really interesting is what I'm feeling like here is um, there was a level of, over the course of the, this year, like almost coming out of the closet. Like maybe some of you did deal with that or you knew somebody that dealt with that. But it's not necessarily in terms of like your sexuality. It's more about um, recognizing that Ophiuchus is actually a, a legitimate part of the Zodiac and should be treated as such. Now, maybe that's actually what, maybe because I, I, I'm getting this energy of like a personal renaissance or some sort of renaissance here for you. So maybe it's the fact that you specifically as an individual um, have accepted some sort of Ophiuchus placement in your life or it's akin to that type of feeling, right? Whereas, you know, throughout the course of history of what we know, 
Um, Ophiuchus hasn't even been talked about, even in the very beginning of when it started to re-enter the co to collective awareness, the conscious awareness, you know, there was still some struggle, people saying it's not even a real sign, blah, 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 blah all that kind of stuff, right? Well, either this is connected to that specifically for you, or there were some sort of fears that were holding you back from recognizing tr your truly what it is that you wanted, or maybe even recognizing what it is you truly felt. And over the course of this year, I feel like those fears were overcome and you were working on that. You worked on achieving your goals or your dreams with the Page of Cups, or you've been working on achieving a new emotional reality with the Page of Cups here, right? You really worked on that. I feel like Ophiuchus a lot, a lot of work has gone into that. And this Page of Cups could even represent the energies of your inner child. So there could have been a reconnection with your inner child. There could have been work done in order to reconnect with your inner child. Okay. Overall energy, though, is the Magician to the Six of Swords, to the Six of Wands, Ophiuchus to the Ace of Swords, to the Ten of Swords. There you go. Okay. I feel like you made a very strong, conscious effort to manifest some sort of leaving behind. I just heard leaving behind of material reality or maybe a certain element within your material reality, okay? But really working on moving forward. Six of Swords, Six of Wands, gaining the clarity that you needed to bring something to rest. Ace of Swords to the Ten of Swords, okay? This is really excellent energy for you, Ophiuchus. So let's move forward here. I wanna see, I wanna get some more. Anything else for Ophiuchus for the year of 2021, please, Spirit? Anything else for Ophiuchus? The Three of Pentacles is in reverse. Okay. Anything else for Ophiuchus for the year of 2021? The Three of Wands is in reverse. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. And that's enough. All right. Ah, now overall energy is the Chariot. All right, Ophiuchus. Uh, so... You have the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, both are in reverse, and then you have the Seven of Swords, which is upright, all right? But then with that, you do have the Queen of Pentacles. And the overall energy is the Chariot at this point. Okay, so um, there was some sort of deception in your path. Oh, for you guys, I get this feeling from this energy that you may have been working on something or working towards something that wasn't really what you wanted to be working on. And I'm getting this from the Three of Pentacles. I'm looking at the Three of Pentacles and I'm getting an energy for you of craftsmanship or artwork or, or, or crafting something, building something, maybe working with others to build something because the Three of Pentacles can represent teamwork. It also can represent self-mastery. But specifically for you, Ophiuchus, because I feel like you were working on or towards something that you really did not want to work towards or work on. And there was no future in it for you, Three of Wands. There was no path forward. And the Seven of Swords is here. Which is representing a level of deception. Lies, trickery, deceit, maybe even defeat, backstabbing. But what I feel like here is you having recognized the deception that was involved in whatever it is you were working towards, whatever it is you were working on. And it wasn't until you got connected with the truth of who you are or what it is you bring to the table or your true talents, your true desires, how you really want to be of service, maybe. I get this feeling, whatever, however this truth is like, officially manifested in your life over this year, Ophiuchus, I feel like there was a level of self-respect that came online here that got you to realize or recognize how whatever it was you've been working towards or working on had no future for you. There was no path forward, or at least this is not the path you wanted to be moving forward towards or be working on moving forward with. And thus, with the overall energy here of the chariot at the bottom of the deck, this is, I'm hearing a gr the great alignment. I'm, I'm hearing and I'm feeling energies of you getting into direct alignment of with 
who you truly are. And it does feel like there was a level of acceptance that needed, that was needed in terms of who you truly are. For some of you, this is as, I guess I want to say minute as just accepting that you have a major ophiuchus placement. It could be that trivial, even though it's not trivial, it might seem trivial, you know what I mean? But like, it, it could be not nah, minor. It could have been that minor as just accepting an ophiuchus placement in your chart, which is interesting. But if it's not that Scorpio specifically, there's something about accepting a part of yourself, a, maybe a desire that you truly wanted that you never allowed yourself to realize or accept or align with or whatever. There was something about accepting something like that that got you in alignment. The chariot. Underneath the chariot is the nine of pentacles. Underneath the nine of pentacles is the ten of cups. The nine of pentacles is you standing firm on your own. It is you being in alignment with yourself. It is you being a free thinker. It is you being a sovereign and independent individual who is accepting their right to choose which direction they want to move in that's going to lead them towards a greater sense of happiness and emotional fulfillment, Ten of Cups. That's really excellent, Ophiuchus. Good for you. Okay, cool. So let's dive into 2022 then, yeah? Four shuffles? Okay, four shuffles. For 2022 for you, Ophiuchus, this is one. This is two for Ophiuchus. So what's 2022 looking like for Ophiuchus? This is three. And this is four. All right, Ophiuchus. So what's 2022 looking like for you? Yeah? What's 22 looking like for Ophiuchus? What's 2022 looking like for Ophiuchus? Ha! There's the Page of Cups again. Dreamer energy. Okay. Okay. See, this is a major, this is a major theme across the board for damn near everybody so far. All right? And I started with Aries. I'm going down the line. But, it seems that the year of 2020, 2021 was a big course correction for a lot of people. And if you really took it seriously, then you have set yourself up or you've primed yourself to be able to move forward with what it is you truly want to move forward with in the, over the course of the year of 2022. But the cards that have come out here for you, Page of Cups is the very first card that came out. And the Page of Cups was the central focus of 2021 for you, right? With that, you have the Eight of Wands. I'm hearing your dreamer reality or whatever it is you dream of. Clear and open space for you to move forward towards that. You have that with beautiful, the hanged man. Okay. And overall energy of the queen of cups to the page of pentacles. The page of pentacles, the page of pentacles is the commitment to the new start. The queen of cups is the emotional awareness and the most, the emotional boundaries but really the emotional awareness to know what it is you want to set forward with, to, to set your intentions towards, to make a commitment to, to start building or whatever. And this is all because of your change in perspective. Having accepted something in your life, whether that is something as trivial as having an Ophiuchus placement or whether that is accepting of what it is you really truly want to begin with and allowing yourself to move forward with that, giving yourself the permission to do so. This has set you free, Ophiuchus, is what I'm hearing. I love that for you. What's next? What else can we say for Ophiuchus for the year of 2022, please, spirit? What else can we say? Okay, you have the King of Wands, 
with the seven of wands in reverse. And the seven of wands in reverse fell out on the pile of the year of 2021. So what I'm feeling, what I'm hearing here and what I'm feeling here is that you can, you can set a lot of your defenses down. Because in the energy that you're in now, Ophiuchus, with this King of Wands, your focus is clear, your focus is set. And you have the confidence, there's this, there's this feeling of having the confidence or having the sense of self-assuredness or, you know, having the passion, the desire, the reserve, whatever. You have whatever it is that you need to move forward. So you don't need to have these... Ah! destructive barriers any longer you've traded this the seven of wands in reverse being overly defensive for some of you i'm hearing overly critical you've traded this for confidence the king of wands and you've successfully and officially let go of things four of pentacles the four of cups right the four of pentacles and the four of cups represented the energy of you in the past not wanting to pursue your dreams, I guess, or whatever, however this is resonating for you. But then underneath that, you guys, I, and what's been underneath this all along is the Queen of Wands. And then here's the King of Wands. So over the course of 2021, you broke through this energy, okay? You broke through that hard outer shell to find the alignment within it and now, in the course of the year of 2022, you can move forward with it without being blocked or burdened by the past any longer. Excellent, Ophiuchus. Let's get your closing oracle guidance, yeah? Five shuffles here? You got it. One. Two. Hmm. Sorry, guys. Four and five. Closing Oracle Guidance for Ophiuchus for this reading, please, Spirit. How would you like to close this reading for Ophiuchus? right there. Just one. Okay. Card number eight. Uluka Baini. She who rides the owl brings justice. I am the goddess of karma, wealth, and balance. I come to correct adharma, that which is dark, unnatural, and against nature, life, love, and goodness. I redress the misuse of wealth and power. I enact divine justice and restore divine order. Trust in the innocence of your own soul and fear not, for I am ever watchful and my power brings truth. Divine justice is always brought to bear. In a reading, this card says, don't waste your valuable time and energy worrying about people getting away with things. It's not possible. Everything is balanced out by karma in the long run. If you feel down or depressed, take action immediately to reconnect to joy, healing energy, and vitality of spirit. All things are measured and metered by clear divine vision. And your job is to put your faith in the work of the divine whilst you tend to your own journey with trust and commitment. All right, Ophiuchus, that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like to get this reading for yourself specifically, my email is can be found in the description box below. Check that out. Shoot me an email and let me know you'd like this spread specifically and I will get you all set up. But with that said, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your year and a fantastic 2022 ahead. I'm sending you all so much love, and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yes?
excellent. Take care. Bye.